Oyster Reef Magic, the world's deepest swimming pool, Spider's Dream, and Weird Ice Cream. All this week. Over here. Hey, 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 listen up. Yeah. <coughs> no, 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 Newsy. Newsy Palooza. is Newsy Bluesy, the world news pod for curious kids and adults. This week, it's oysters to the rescue in Bangladesh, where land erosion is a serious threat. Dubai develops another world record hotspot, or should I say deep spot? You might think spiders are creepy, but what if I told you they dream and dare sleep? And find out about the wacky ice cream flavors the Brits are eating to stay cool. I'm Lily Shushanka Brickett, and as ever, I'm joined by the big story explainer and my mama. Hello, hello, I'm Lindy Prickett, and it's our birthdays this week. Yes, we're both September babies. Guess who's turning 10? Double digits at last. Wahoo! <laughs> so we are taking a little bit of time off to celebrate. But well, we are not leaving you high and dry. Nope, there's still plenty of water in the newsy pool loozy. But we are recording this slightly shorter podcast a bit in advance. So forgive us if there's some big breaking news we missed this week. If so, we promise to circle back round to it next week. (laughs) All right, let's dive on in. First up, it's the The big big news news story of the week. So do you know which country is to the east of India? As in, if you're looking at a map just on the right-hand side of India at the top. Um, Bangladesh? Yes. Well, did you know that Bangladesh is the eighth most populated country in the world with 165 million people? That's like twice the population of Germany. That's a lot of people. And sadly, it's been estimated that in just 30 years, one in every seven people in Bangladesh will be displaced from their homes by climate change. It's one of the most vulnerable countries in the world in terms of extreme weather. Yeah, they get hit by cyclones or hurricanes and droughts, never mind loads of riverbank and coastal erosion. Yep, huge patches of land just disappear when the floods come and the ocean waves batter its many islands all year round. But never fear, oysters are here. Um, come again? How's eating those slimy things going to help? Not eating them, but farming them. Because when loads of oysters are clustered all together, they make reefs that are as strong as coral. Whoa, I didn't even think of a reef not being coral. I know, but a reef is actually a long line of any rocks or plants or clusters of very sturdy shellfish like oysters just below or above the surface of the sea. So crowded up together, oysters are an amazing force. Yep, and in the water around Kutubdia Island, which could disappear in just 50 years, thousands of oysters are being introduced. Which will hopefully breed to make hundreds of thousands, I get it. But let's cut across to Dua Manor Chowdhury, who's standing by in Bangladesh. Oh, cool. Dua, do tell us more. Thanks, Lila. You see, we get big waves in the Bay of Bengal that take a little bit of our land with a gush of water. But there's hope that an oyster reef will help, right? An oyster reef creates a wall that decreases the power of those waves. Not just that, that oyster reef also helps filter and clean the water. Oh yeah, their bumpy gray shells act like a filter holding on and trapping the yucky bits. Nature's filtration system. Did you know a single oyster can filter up to 30 gallons of water every day? Wow, that's like 30 buckets of water being filtered by one single oyster. But I'm not done. The rifts also create homes for sea creatures and fish, which we can eat. Yummy. Good point. I'd say that's a win-win. And not only that either, when there's an oyster reef, it's also easy to plant mangrove trees. Mangrove trees, huh? They also help slow down the flow of water and move the dirt to the right places. All of these things help save the beach from disappearing. Bring on more oysters, I say. I agree. Bring on more oysters indeed. 
Thanks a lot for that information, Dua. Who knew that a bumpy little oyster crowded up with other little oysters could create such an amazing force? That could stop land erosion and save loads of islands. Impressive. It's the call of nature. Nature. Get on your safari suit or squeeze into your scuba gear. gear. And get ready to hop into a jeep or a submarine. Submarine. Because Mother Nature is calling. Nature. Some people find them fascinating. Some find them terrifying. So terrifying, there's a whole word to describe the phobia or intense fear of them. Arachnophobia. Yes, we're talking about spiders. You can skip for it a minute if you don't like them, because otherwise this news might really freak you out. New research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science suggests that spiders experience a sleep-like state with rapid eye movements similar to those observed in dreaming humans. Not just any spiders, but jumping spiders, about the size of an adult's pinky fingernail. The researcher found that when it was time to snuggle down to sleep, some went to teeny silken pouches called retreats. But others dangled upside down from a single strand of silk with their legs neatly curled in and... Occasionally moving, twitching in fact, like cats or dogs do when they're dreaming. And on super close inspection, thanks to night vision cameras, it was clear that the spiders moved their eyes in sleep rapidly. Otherwise known as rapid eye movement, REM. Which, when you're sleeping, is a sure sign of dreaming. Like crawling into a human's bed, maybe yours, and tickling your toes, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't dream the way we do, but this research could alter our understanding of when and how dreaming evolved. I still say, yeah. Also, this scientific study should have come out in Halloween. <laughs> Now let's move on. You know Dubai, right? Sure, a city in the United Arab Emirates, home of the Burj Khalifa, aka the tallest building in the world. Right, and Dubai is also home to the world's largest mall, as it happens. And it's now about to add another Guinness World Record extravaganza to its list. Oh, 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 do tell, do tell. <laughs> Actually, I will not. I'll save it for Sammy Mabruk, our Dubai correspondent, to tell us all about it. But here's a clue. It's called Deep Dive Dubai, and it's as deep as a 20-story building. I'm eager to hear. Thanks, Leela. Dubai might be a desert, but that has never stopped it from creating a super slick city with stunning skyscrapers and a huge shopping mall. Or reclaiming parts of the ocean to create a beachfront neighborhood in the shape of the world. Never mind having an indoor ski resort. And now it's adding one of the deepest swimming pools in the world to its list. At 196 feet deep, that's 60 meters, or put another way, that's as deep as a 20-story building. Of course, Deep Dive Dubai is meant to train people how to scuba dive. But once you learn, you can also play chess or table football at the bottom of the pool. Oh, and there's also an underwater film studio where a media editing room is available. Because it's everyone's dream to edit videos underwater, right? Yeah, I don't really get that either. But that's not stopping me from asking my parents to take me there. In Dubai, I'm Sammy Mabruk, reporting for the Nulsi Pulsi. Thanks, Sammy. I gotta say, I wouldn't mind taking a dive there, too. And hey, why not edit our podcast in the editing room? Good idea. Maybe Deep Dive Dubai would like to sponsor an episode of Newsy Pool Loozy. Hint, hint, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, we are a pool, after all. And finally, let's see what the Lucky Dip Machine has for us this week. Right, step right up, step right up. Have a go the lucky dip machine. The lucky dip machine. What's it going to be today, eh? An oddball, no doubt. An oddball, no doubt. Auto, yes, for sure. If I say Cocoa Pops, soy sauce, polo mints, 
mayonnaise, ketchup, and Heinz baked beans. What do you say? I'd say you're really hungry. <laughs> well, yes. Come to think of it, I am. But no wrong answer. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'd say you're making a grocery list so we can restock the pantry. Wrong again. Think heat wave summer and food you need to cool down. Snow cones, slushies, sorbets, ice creams, but bingo, ice creams indeed. But those are condiments, cereals, and well beans. Oh, and did I mention the Worcestershire sauce? Yeah, not ice cream. Well, try telling that to London, which is sulking right now as the ice cream project pop up has just shut down after a triumphant summer of serving weird ice creams. You have to be kidding me. No, ma'am. Have a look on social media, where the weird, wacky flavors have created a buzz, inspiring some to travel all over Britain just to get a lick. Some lines are said to have taken two hours to get through too. For baked bean ice cream. Yup, and that's a bestseller too, along with soya sauce, only to be beaten by cocoa pops and frosties, which top the list. And just when you think the British are stuck in their ways and don't like change. Yeah, but it's probably just the heat. And it's time to wrap up the podcast with the, the top, top five facts heard today. today. Fab fact number one. Oysters are being used to create sturdy reefs to stop land erosion in Bangladesh, a country next to India and South Asia, with, as it happens, a lot of people—165 million, in fact. Putting it where on the list of the most populated countries of the world? Bangladesh is the eighth most populated country on Earth. Fab fact number two: the oyster reef also helps filter and clean the water, as their bumpy gray shells hold on and trap the yucky bits. How much can a single oyster filter each day? Up to thirty gallons. Fab fact number three. Dubai, a city in the United Arab Emirates, adds another world record to its list with the world's deepest swimming pool. That is 196 feet deep. It's also home to the world's tallest building, which is the Burj Khalifa. Fab fact number four. A new study suggests jumping spiders experience a sleep-like state with REM, similar to those observed in dreaming humans. What's REM? Rapid eye movement. Fab fact number five. <laughs> This news, of course, is terrifying to people who have an intense fear of spiders. What is that called? Arachnophobia. And don't forget, if you want to test yourself later on, then go to the Lucky Dip page of our website, newsypalooza.com. That's Paluzi like pool, P O O L O O Z I, and take this quiz online in your own time. I repeat, P L L L O O Z I dot com. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Nizzy Paluzi. We're off to eat cake. <laughs> If you enjoyed this dip in the coolest pool of news and information, then do subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Alexa, or wherever you get your podcasts. While you're at it, give us a good rating, or better still, leave us a review, and we'll read it out on the next podcast. Promise. Alrighty then, see you next week in the happy splashy giant Nizzy Pie Nizzy. Woo!